Hi everyone, welcome to this lecture series on Virtual Cloud Network, VCN. My name is Rohit Rahi and I'm part of the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure team. As part of this lecture series, we are going to cover several topics, including discussion on CIDR, what CIDR notations mean, Virtual Cloud Network intro, we'll look into uh, the basics of VCN, we'll look into IP addressing, uh, and how that is done within uh, OCI. We'll look into gateways and routing. Uh, we'll look into peering. We'll look into uh, this new feature we launched a few months back, which is really exciting, transit routing. We'll look into security, and then we'll finally put all these pieces together. So as the first topic in the Virtual Cloud Network lecture series, let's look into CIDR notations and why this is, uh, discuss why this is important as you are uh, working uh, with uh, OCI Virtual Cloud Network uh, service. So CIDR stands for Classless Interdomain Routing. And in this routing notation, IP addresses are described as consisting of two group groups of bits in the address. The most significant bits or the left, leftmost bits are the network prefix, which identifies a whole network or it can be a subnet. And the least significant uh, uh, bits forms the host identifier, which specifies a particular interface of a host on that network. So simply put, an IP address has two components, as we just talked about, the network address and the host address. So you could logically think about your IP address as network and the host. Now, there is this concept called subnet mask, also sometimes called as net mask. What does that mean? A subnet mask separates the IP address into the network and host addresses. The whole idea of network and host is actually done using subnet mask. And you don't just have to stop here. Subnetting further divides the host part of an IP address into a subnet and host address. So taking this concept further, you could have a network here. And earlier we just had network and host, but you could also do a subnet because in reality, um, sometimes you need a bigger network and sometimes you need to take the, the, the bigger network and you need to subdivide into smaller networks to give it to your customers. Now, how does this work? Subnet mask is made by setting network bits to all ones and setting the host bits to all zeros. Within a given network, two host addresses cannot be assigned to host. So it's very important to, to keep that in mind. The zero address is assigned to the network. It's the network uh, host uh, network address and 255 is assigned to the broadcast address. So zero and 255 you cannot use, but other than that, you could use the other uh, addresses for your host within your network or your subnet uh, or, or your subnetwork. And we'll, next slide, we'll look into this in more detail, but the notation is, is actually a pretty straightforward notation. As you know, IP addresses are 32 bits long with four octets, octets meaning these are eight bits. So you have eight bits here, you have eight bits here, eight, eight. Uh, and you the you specify the CIDR notation using this slash uh, character and a decimal number. So you could say something like this, 192.168.1.0 slash 24. That's that slash 24 here is the subnet mask. Now this is all good on in, in theory, how does this really work in practice? Let's look into a couple of slides and we'll look into how this, you know, you can use this information. So examples of commonly used uh, net masks, subnet masks are class, um, uh, are, you know, class A networks, which are all eight bits, uh, the first octet being all one. Uh, class B uh, network, which is the first two octets being all one. And class C network, which is uh, the first three octets all once and we'll look into a class C network uh, and we'll further divide it into a sub network and we'll see you know how this is all done in in reality so first thing before we get into that is you have to uh, have a grasp of the decimal and the binary uh, notation so anytime uh, you know you use IP addresses uh, you use these uh, decimal numbers here right so you have 192 168 1 etc uh, etc et now the way this is work this this works is as we talked about ip addresses are nothing but 32 bits long ipv4 uh, and um, 
these uh, these are four octets of eight bits each now for every octet uh, the way uh, it's uh, it's you know it's translated into binary is you have the first position you have the second position of the bits you have the third you have the fourth fifth sixth seventh uh, and eighth uh, right so you start with uh, you know uh, with a notation like this where you have 2 to the power 0 all going all the way to 2 to the power 7 now if you translate this into decimal you get these values so 128 64 32 16 8 4 2 and 1 Correct. So if you have to represent 192, you 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 do this math, uh, mental math, and say, okay, to get to 192, uh, I need 128. So that bit has to be turned one. Uh, I also need the next bit, which is 64. So if I add 128 and 64, I get to 192. So the remaining bits can all be zero, because I don't need those bits to be turned on those binary bits to be turned on uh, in order to get to my uh, my uh, decimal value of 192. So that is how you translate uh, between decimal and uh, binary. That's just basics, but it's, it's it's important to know. So now if I ask you to do to to represent 192.168.1.0 in in uh, binary, this is what it would look like. So one and one here because you add them, you get to 192 rest everything zero. For 168, you have 1, which is 128. The next bit can be 0. I don't need that. I definitely need 32. So 128 plus 32 is 160. The next bit is 16. I don't need that. So that's a 0. But the next one I need uh, to get to 168. So 10101, one, one, all zeros here. And then, of course, you know, 1 is represented by all zeros here, 1 here. And then 0 is, is all zeros, right? Now, when we talk about this 24 uh, slash 24 subnet mask, remember in the previous slide we talked about this, slash 24 basically means that you turn all these network bits to one. So the first octet is all one, the first, the second octet is all one, and the third octet is all one. So if you do the math, 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8, you get to 24 uh, bits, right? And that's basically the 24 subnet uh, mask here. Now, what we do is we take the network, uh, and then we take the subnet mask uh, and then we do a logical AND to get the network and the host, right? And logical AND basically says that if you, you have two bits, uh, you basically do a logical AND on them, meaning if the two bits are one, you get a one. In all other cases, it's a zero. Zero and zero is a zero. One and zero is a zero. Zero and one is a zero, right? So if you do a logical AND between these guys here, 1 and 1 is definitely 1, 1 and 1 is 1, rest everything is 0, because 0 and 1 is 0, 0 and 0, 0 and 1 is 0, and so on and so forth, right? You do the same thing again, you, you get again the, these bits here, uh, and, same, and so on and so forth, right? So the idea is, now you got this, you do a logical uh, AND here, and the first, this is the range you get. So these are the hosts you can use if I give you a network of 192.168.1.0. Now this first one is the network address, right, that we talked about. And this last one is the broadcast. So you would not be able to use those, those ones, but everything from dot one all the way to dot 254 can be your hosts, right? So now you saw how we took a network and then using the subnet mask of 24, we divided it into into a network and host, and we could have 254 hosts there. Uh, okay, so that's pretty clean, right? And these are, like I said, these are classful um, um, net masks, uh, subnetworks, uh, class C network slash 24. Now let's get into a more complex scenario. Now let's say if I have this network, right? But I want to do a little bit more. I want to take this network, but I want to subdivide into uh, subnetworks uh, because, you know, maybe I have more customers uh, and, you know, I want to divide uh, the network into smaller networks. So how would that work? Now if I take the same network as before, but now say that I have a slash 27 subnet mask. So is it class A? Not really, because class A is slash prefix 8. Class B is prefix 16, uh, and class C is prefix 24. 
Now, this is not a class full, class A, class B, or class C uh, network, subnetwork. So, how would we go about, um, you know, um, uh, creating a network and host uh, addresses here? Now, it's relatively straightforward as we did earlier, but the thing to realize is now you are going to have eight subnetworks with 32 hosts each uh, because of this 27 subnet mask, right? So, how did I get to that, right? How did I do it? So, let's look into it. First thing is 192.168.1.0, that's the IP I got, the network is still the same, right? So nothing changed here. Now my subnet mask change, right? If I look at the subnet mask here, the first eight octets are one, the second eight octets are one, the third eight octets are one, but in the fourth octet, I also need three more here. So to go from eight plus eight plus eight plus three is giving me 27. So I, I need to borrow three bits from this octet for my network, correct? Because otherwise I cannot get to 27. So these three bits I have marked in red because I borrowed them, right? Now it literally leaves me with five bits here for my host and three bits are taken by my, my subnetwork, right? Now if I do a logical AND, uh, I still get the first number, uh, the first uh, network I get is still the, the one which I got earlier. So how do I get how do I get this number here dot thirty one how where from where did I get that so now the thing to 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 realize is okay look look at the the bits we borrowed here right and by the way this two twenty four is coming because these three bits are one so if you do the math one twenty eight plus sixty four plus thirty two because these three would be like all turned one you would get to this 224 number, right? That's how I got, um, that's how I got that uh, uh, 224. So now if you see the first three bits I borrowed here, so that means because this is binary, I can have two into two into two, eight sub networks because these are now borrowed for my sub network, right? I have network, I have sub network, and now I have host. And now this piece here, because again, these are binary five bits are for my host, so I can, all, I can, if I multiply, I get to 32. Also, another way to think about it is this number is 192, uh, is, sorry, is 128. This one is 64 and this one is 32. So because I am, my subnetwork is still here, it means I can have 32 hosts in my, uh, in my, uh, in my, each of my subnetworks, right? So the way you would write this now is you, the first network you had was 192.168.1.0. The second one would be dot 32. The third one would be dot 64 and so on and so forth, right? And now if I do this, this, this uh, math, uh, my, my networks would go from, uh, uh, my host would go from 192.168.1.0 all the way to dot 31 here. It would go from th dot 32 all the way to dot 63 here and so on and so forth, right? Uh, the, uh, and again, it's it starts from zero, so that's why you see till th 31 here. And each of these subnetworks have um, 32 hosts each. So as you can see here now, I took this bigger network, and because of this 27 subnet mask, I have 1.0 slash 27. I have 1.32 slash 27 here, right? I have 1.64 slash 27, and so on and so forth. So I took that big network. And now I divided it into eight smaller networks. How did I get eight? I borrowed three bits here. So I can have two into two into two, eight subnetworks. Five bits are for my host. Remember, these are all binary. So I can have 32 hosts. Now, this is the basic information you need um, in order to operate uh, with, you work with the OCI virtual cloud network uh, service because everything is sort of you know in the, in the side notation uh, so i hope uh, this is this is uh, helpful thanks for joining this lecture if you have time uh, join the next lecture where we introduce the virtual cloud network and some of the core concept thank you